Okay, this is Unit 2, Lesson 2. You're going to need the notes that we did in class, and if you don't have them, you're going to have to come and talk to me and make sure that you get them. Um, we're going to be talking about parallel lines here, and I want you to think about both of the parallel lines as roads. So we're going to call these parallel roads. And they're roads that never intersect or cross. They're going in the same direction. Now, if I took a look at two roads, and I put these little symbols indicating they're parallel, and I connect them with a service road, we call that service road a transversal. So a transversal is a line or line segment that crosses two or more lines or parallel roads. And in this case, we'll think about them like a highway. And we're going to use that idea to just go over some of the angles that we talked about in the notes. So in this example here, we've got angle A and 130. And when you have one angle that's opposite to another, and we have a road that continues and a road that continues, we call those vertically opposite, or V dot O for short. So they're vertically opposite. So if we're to make a conclusion here, we can say that angle A equals 130 degrees because um, they are vertically opposite angles. Okay, pretty easy. The second part is if I'm taking a look at a parallel line and a parallel line, and this is from the notes, if I have one angle inside the highways and one angle outside, and they're on the same side of the service road or transversal, we call those corresponding, and they are also equal. So we can conclude that angle B equals 130 degrees because they are corresponding angles. It's important that you write the rules because you'll need it for proofs. Okay, if we move on to the next part for the next page, so flip pages, we have a question that looks at question or looks at angles C and D, and I'm going to put a little thing here that shows that those are parallel. So parallel lines um, are going to be shown obviously with these little arrows. And I've got these angles that are inside of these roads. So if you think about it, this is inside the highway. And we call those interior angles. So interior angles have certain properties as well. So if I kind of rewrite this here, and I have to figure out what angle C and angle D were, if I said that angle C was 60 degrees, the rule we learned from the notes was that angles that are both inside of the highways are what we call interior angles and they add to 180 or are supplementary. So this is 120 degrees. So the rule here is that angle C and angle D equal 180 degrees and what you can conclude is that angle C and angle D are supplementary because they are interior angles. Okay? Now, the other little note that we learned was that if I put an angle E here, angle C and angle E are what we call co-interior, or are alternate interior. And alternate interior angles are opposite, or angles that are on opposite sides of the service road. So the service road continues. You've got the 60 on one side and 60 on the other. They're identical. So it doesn't ask us this in, question, in this question, but if you were trying to figure out what angle C and E were, you could say that angle E and angle C are equal because they're alternate interior. You could also say that angle E and angle D are supplementary because they're both interior angles. Okay, moving on to the next part. And I'm going to split the video into two parts just so that um, the video isn't too long. So for this one here, you've got uh, trying to figure out these parallel lines, or figure out these lines here. Well, if we know that these are parallel, oh, sorry, we're using these as parallel. Okay, um, a number of ways to figure this out would be, well, we don't know if these two are parallel because it's not indicated in the picture. 
So we'd have to solve this. Now I'm taking a look at this example here, and I think what he meant to do in the notes is that this is also parallel as well. So let's just include that there, otherwise it would be a different way of solving it. Okay, that means that A and 110 are identical because they're corresponding. So on this side here, you should be writing that angle A equals 110 degrees, and the reason is corresponding angles are equal. Now, I'm not going to do that for all of them, but you get the idea. A and B, B would be 110 degrees because they're vertically opposite. A and C are interior angles. They're supplementary, so this is 70 degrees. C and D would be alternate interior, and those are equal. And I think that's all you had to find. So remember, when you solve them, you should be listing rules. But on this example, I didn't get you to do that. Okay, on to the next part. I'm going to pause the video here, and we'll do this as part two, because it'll just take a minute to do this video, and I don't want to exceed the time limit.